Hi guys, I wanted to talk about the PV Max bass amplifiers. I have the 100 watt here and the 300 over here. Let's get down to it. Here is the 100 watt PV Max bass amplifier. As you can see back here, we have inputs for passive and active bass pickups, gain, bass, middle, treble, and volume. We've got an onboard tuner, and it mutes when you tune. Cosmos C, bright, mid-shift, and contour are different settings for the EQ. Personally, I really like contour and mid-shift. There's also an overdrive button. Personally, I never really liked the overdrive. On the back of the 100 watt, we've got a DI, headphones, aux in, and foot switch for the overdrive. We also have an effects loop here. Here's the PV Max 300. This is a pretty big bass amp. If we look here on the top, it's almost exactly the same as the 100 watt. If we look at the back here, we've got an effects loop a DI, aux in, and headphones. There's also speaker output here, so maybe you can connect this up to a different uh, speaker situation. There is, uh, you can turn on and off the tweeter. So I'm gonna scoot back here so you can see how big each of these are. So here's the 100 watt bass amp. Here is the 300 watt bass amp. Okay, so now we've heard some sounds off of the PV Max bass, and so the question is, what do I think of it? How does it compare to other amps in the similar price range? Well, I was looking for a big bass amp that I could use at practice and for some performances. Uh, specifically performances where we did not use a PA system. We started with the 100 watt thinking, well, my guitar amp's 22 watts, and that's plenty loud enough, but my 100 watt bass amp has got to at least compete with that. I forgot that my guitar amp is tube and the bass amp is solid state. So the 100 watts just couldn't quite keep up with our electronic drum set, the acoustic electric amp, and my guitar amp. We did get the 300 watt PV Max bass amp. Even though it's a large size, it actually isn't as heavy as you might think. Yeah, so I thought, man, it's gotta be hard to lift this thing, but it's really not. The 300 bit watt bass amp seems almost too powerful, but I kind of actually like that. Instead of having to push the bass amp to get the volume that we need, uh, we typically put the gain about five to seven, and then the volume usually at two for practice, or if it's a bigger venue, maybe we put the volume at a maximum of five. The quality of that volume is very, very high. It sounds, sounds deep and resonant. The other amps that I was looking at were the Fender Rumble series. The Fender Rumble series tended to be a bit more treble-y, like they sounded like they had a bit more treble than I would have liked. And I 
was pleasantly surprised with the PV Max series. So I thought about doing Fender Rumble, I've tr I thought about doing the Mark Bass amps because they have the yellow speaker and it looks pretty cool. But I opted for the PV Max bass amps and I've got to say I'm quite impressed with how they sound and hopefully this was a helpful video for you. Um, I didn't use any effects on the uh, sound samples. I only, I DI'd this straight into my Focusrite Scarlet and what you hear is what you get. Cool. Well, hopefully this was helpful and I'll see you guys in the next video.